Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so I decided to uh, come in here this morning uh, since it's snowing outside. Decided to uh, go ahead and make a quick video. Uh, what this video is going to be about is the Glock 19. Um, this firearm I carried before I purchased the uh, SR9C. The SR9C did not replace my Glock it just took up some of its duties. Um, there are times when I carry the uh, SR9C and there are times when I carry the Glock 19. Um, the Glock 19 seems to be a little bit heavier uh, at times. Um, it could be because it carries uh, more rounds. Uh, but uh, let's see here. All right. This is the Glock 19. Uh, I, when I do carry it, I do not carry it with the light on it. Uh, the light does come off, but uh, since you know, you know, I'm at home and uh, it's, it's been sitting on the, the shelf in there. I put the light on it just in case, you know. Uh, if I have to grab it at night, I got I got the light capability on it. Okay, but when I do carry it, oh, this is the uh, TLR three light. I like the light a lot. It's really bright, uh, compact. I usually don't carry it like that. It does have the Crimson Trace laser on it. And I know some guys talk about the Crimson Trace or, or lasers, period. Uh, for me, um, I don't have a problem with the laser. Uh, I like the lasers. Uh, they're um, great for quick target acquisition. Okay, um, You do not have to line up your sights to uh, take a shot. You just simply uh, activate that laser, okay, and once it's activated, uh, wherever that dot is, that's where that round's going to impact. Uh, so you do not have to bring it up, you know, to acquire your, your sights. Uh, you can shoot from the hip. You can shoot moving. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's just a real great tool for, I, I believe, for a concealed carry weapon. Uh, <clears throat> this is a, I believe, a Generation 3. It has the uh, it's, uh, it's RTX rough texture. I mean, this uh, stippling on hairband is really, really sharp. Um, you really have, actually, I actually sanded this down a little bit because, uh, you know, when I first purchased it and put it in the holster and sat down with it, uh, this this stippling here, these points were so sharp, it would rub up against my side, and uh, it definitely you would feel it. Okay, I did hear that some people were complaining that it was wearing out their shirts if they had them on the outside, and uh, you know their shirts would rub up against it and tear their shirts up. But uh, I mean, for grip purposes, it can be beat. When you put this in your hand, if your hands are wet or you're wearing gloves or anything like that, um, you're definitely not going to lose your grip on it. Uh, on this one, I did, like I said, I added the Crimson Trace laser. Um, I did add the uh, extended slide release on this. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to release. Uh, <clears throat> I did not change the sights on this one. I left the uh, original sights on it. They were pretty good. Uh, unlike my Glock, 19, uh, Glock 17 where I put the adjustable uh, sights on it. Uh, this trigger right here on this particular Glock, uh, like I said, it's it's still still pretty good. It's a little it's a little rough, you know. I mean it's not polished or anything like that. So you can actually feel you know it going back. But once you get to that take up off of there uh, it's still a, you know, to me a heavy trigger, but you know, still crisp. Lets off real easy. Um, like I said, I, I like it. I carry it a lot. It's a little bit thicker in the slide than the uh, the Ruger, uh, but I believe the Ruger actually. I'm not sure, but I think the Ruger's uh, frame is the same as the uh, the Glock. I'm not sure. But I know the slide's a little thinner, and uh, like I said, it feels the Glock feels a little bit heavier um, than the Ruger. So, like I said, I, I go back and forth. You know, like I said, 45% of the time I'll carry this. Uh, the 
rest of the 45 percent of the time I'll carry the uh, the Ruger, and uh, like I said, the last uh, ten percent I have a couple other uh, pistols that I, I may carry from time to time just because. Uh, the Crimson Trace laser was really simple to put on. Take the pin out, slide it in, and uh, put the put the new pin in, and and you're done. To activate the Crimson Trace, it's just a little bump back here. Once you, you know. Put your grip, get your grip on there. That laser comes on. Uh, the battery seemed to last a long time. Uh, Mike, these, this, this is probably, I don't know, a couple years or so, and this this uh, thing hasn't uh, gone gone out yet. Uh, even though they do give you a lifetime, at the time when I purchased the Crimson Trace. There was a uh, lifetime uh, battery replacement. Uh, I guess one battery a year or something like that, or whatever. Uh, everybody knows the takedown on the Glock's still the same. Uh, like I said, with this particular Glock here, there's nothing different. It's in nine millimeter, of course. Um, and um, like I said, it's 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 a Glock. What what more can you say? Dependable, uh, accurate, and uh, you know, pretty much unbreakable. So. You know, once again, if you're looking for another concealed carry weapon, uh, this is this is a, a, a another great choice. You know, uh, it's always gonna go bang when you pull the trigger, and uh, as long as you do your part, it's gonna the bullets are gonna go where you put them. Uh, great choice for concealed carry. The uh, grip is just right. Okay, the um, the Crimson Trace laser. You know that that's a preference. You know if it's something that uh, you like, something you want to try. You know, I don't look at it as an intimidation factor. I look at it as just a quick uh, 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 target acquisition. You know, like I said, you can put that laser on, and once you have it sighted in, wherever that laser is at, that's where that round is going to impact. As long as you don't uh, jerk your trigger. And you keep everything just right. Uh, it shouldn't move too much off that spot. Okay. So, once that being said, you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll get back with you guys another time. Take care.